Hi everyone, I'm Harsh Vardhan, an artificial intelligence engineer and you are watching another upgrade channel and in this lecture we are going to talk about multitasking Python. So this lecture is going to be more theoretical as uh, the coding part takes only three lines of code to perform multitasking that means multi-threading or multi-processing in Python. The first one is to import the module and two for creating the context. So you need to understand the basics. You need to understand what's happening behind the scene. That's why this lecture is focused to understand how multi-threading or multi-processing works in Python. So let's get started. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. At first, we need to understand what is multitasking. So according to a formal definition, it says it's an ability of a computer to perform multiple tasks simultaneously. Let's understand this with an example. Say you are working on Jupyter Notebook, you are listening to a song on Spotify and you are downloading a movie. So here you can see that all those tasks are being executed in a sync by the help of an operating system. And that's what we call multitasking. Right? Great. But there is a question. Why do we need multitasking? To make this concept clear, I need to take an example of a chef. Let's say we have a chef working in the kitchen alone. And he had to complete particular task A. So to complete that particular task A, he had to perform three different tasks say task 1, task 2 and task 3. In real life you can say stirring, kneading dough or baking, right? Three different tasks. Now if he is working alone, he have to perform all those tasks. So he have to jump from one task to another to complete that, right? Now take another case, say this particular chef is now being assisted by some assistant. So these assistant will now split this task among themselves, right? So if we compare the time to complete that particular task A, will be longer in the case 1 where the chef was alone, right? And uh, if we compare the efficiency, then the efficiency of that particular chef in the case 1 will also decrease. As in the second case, the tasks are being split among the assistants. That's why the time to complete that task A will reduce and also the efficiency of chef will increase. Why? Now he have to focus only one task, right? So that's why multitasking is very important. Great. Now, this multitasking are divided in two types. One is process based and another one is thread based. So what is this process based and thread based? We'll talk about it. But at first we need to understand what is process and thread. So you can understand process as a software. Let's take an example of Microsoft Word whole Microsoft Word is a process, whereas its functionalities are different threads. Let's understand this with an example. Say in Microsoft Word, you have uh, spell check, you have word count, you have grammar check and graphics, various options, right? So these are four different threads and this Microsoft Word in whole is a process. Take another example of FIFA game. This FIFA game software is a process whereas user input, music, graphics, opponent are four different threads. I hope uh, you are clear with the meaning of threads and process, right? Threads are the functionalities of particular program and the program in whole is called process. Great? Right. Now, we need to understand one more important thing. The main thread. Every program have one main thread. What does it mean? So I'll just take you to this and one second here. Let's say we have our function. So here I'll draw something. So this is our whole program. And uh, in this uh, program, we have two functions. Since uh, it's a Python program. So let's say we have two function. This is a uh, function A and this is function B right and uh, this uh, program is x program and here you have uh, some other code to execute so let's say you are executing this uh, function a in thread t1 pardon me for my handwriting and the drawing 
So let's say this uh, particular function a is uh, working on thread t1 and uh, this function b is working on function sorry on thread t2. So when we see that means when we compare then we will find that this thread t1 is working this thread t2 is working and there is one another thread called main thread okay what is this i should write like this i will just here and this is main thread right so this t1 will execute function a this t2 will execute function b and this main thread will execute these two lines of code so this t1 and t2 these two threads are the child thread of this main thread so always remember there is one main thread which will create another thread or initiate another threads right great if you don't understand this don't worry when we are coding this we are going to explain this in much more detail you will uh, just see how there is a difference in main thread and uh, the child thread okay don't worry if you don't understand it now we are going to understand the multi threading and multi processing in python so you may feel that uh, everything are being executed in parallel when you are implementing multi threading in python but it's not the case right it's very much different from other programming language like c or java where uh, the multi threading is the real parallelism what what is the meaning of real parallelism so to understand this you need to understand the concept of concurrency and parallelism so i will explain this once again so that you can uh, make a clear concept see there is a difference in concurrency and parallelism what is concurrency in concurrency let's say we have four different threads running right this is a thread t1 this is thread t2 control x and it's thread 2 this one is t3 and uh, this one is t4 right so we have four different threads if you check the graph that how the how these threads are executing are being executed in uh, concurrency what happens so here at first thread t1 will execute it then thread t2 will execute it then thread t3 will execute it then t4 will be executed then again you have uh, t1 then again you have uh, t2 then t3 t3 and then t4 you can understand that at first all those threads are being executed in concurrency that means only one thread will be executed at once and this is due to the pergence of global interpreter lock what is this global interpreter lock so here uh, in this image what you can see that we have uh, different threads but due to the pergence of global interpreter lock we blocks all the thread and gives access to only one thread to access the memory right due to which we come into the position of concurrency rather than parallelism right so i hope the meaning of concurrency is clear in concurrency you are executing one thread one one by one right so here you can see that thread 1 is executed then thread 2 is executed it's not like uh, at the same time thread 1 and thread 2 are being executed that's what happens in uh, java and c when you are performing multi threading but not in the case of python due to the pergence of global interpreter lock so i hope this thing is clear right how this global interpreter lock uh, is converting multi threading to that means the you ha you are getting the feel of multi threading but it's uh, not the real parallelism it's concurrency whereas when we talk about the multi processing then we have real parallelism because there is no concept of uh, global interpreter lock we bypass that uh, global interpreter lock to perform multi processing and here you will find that we we will see the real parallelism when we are going to code that when we are going to uh, make do practicals you will see that there is a very much time difference between uh, the multi threading task and the multi processing now i am going to conclude my theory with a rule of thumb when to use multi processing and when to use multi threading if you have cpu intensive task go for multi processing if not 
then go for multi threading that's it because remember when you are implementing multi threading it will be executed on same memory that means all the thread can access that particular memory whereas in multi processing that's not the case and if you are not clear or if you have any confusion just comment me or you can uh, go to bitly slash h multitasking and i have uh, written the same thing in medium you can just read that and you will understand how things are working and again if you have any confusion just let me know in the comment section thank you see you in the next one